good morning. So it's not even. I don't like that I say it's not even 9 a.m. Putting on the octonauts, but we are wearing matching pajamas. Ah! Um, so that's the exciting. I am putting on octonauts as he's got all of our friends on the couch. Say hi, friends. Say, as he also did her own makeup. Did I mention she did my makeup too? I should have mentioned that because otherwise you'd be thinking, why are you wearing makeup in your pajamas? And that's why. Come on, Netflix, not today. <laughs> okay, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna just shower and maybe like even out my eyeshadow. All right, Ezzy, what do you want for breakfast again? You want egg, she's requested egg, cheese, dinosaur chomp, which dinosaur chomp in our household is spinach leaves that she chomps like a dinosaur. Somehow I managed to make that something and it worked. And salmon, which is like costing me an arm and a leg with her salmon habit, I'm telling you. But I'm trying to do what I can. And cucumber. So we're doing to put it out that spread. She basically eats like a Scandinavian. I don't know where she gets, maybe it's Viking blood, maybe. And I'm gonna make myself some coffee. Oh, I'll tell you, the Easter Bunny delivered. My mom sent an Easter basket delivery yesterday, which I really needed, because I didn't really feel like going in the store and battling over Easter stuff. Thank goodness for moms. Love you, mom. Okay, but shh, don't tell Izzy. Da, 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 da. I laid this out so carefully, she will probably eat mm, two bites of the egg, maybe. She might eat the salmon. She might chop one spinach leaf, which is like chop it. And then maybe she'll eat the cheese. I'll report back. Because I think it's gonna just disrupt this equilibrium we have here, but I've moved to my bed where I've got my uh, top and everything. Ezzy's over here on her laptop, I, I be her iPad. I think I'm jinxing myself just even recording this right now. Uh-uh. Um, hey. Uh, yeah. I I So I wanted to I talk used about to what to touch your boobs. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'm gonna talk to you guys about what some important things I was gonna talk to you about later. Because I've just jinxed myself by turning on this camera and saying, Look how nice this moment is. It's just been ruined. Not really. I mean I love having Ezzy around, but come on Ez. I'm back working at my dining table slash desk as he's watching a movie with popcorn. Still, same popcorn from yesterday. Just made a giant bowl, put some saran wrap over it, brought it back out again. I think what I was gonna talk about is like, how are you all coping with the working and parenting thing? Do you have a partner at home? Are you tag teaming? Are you like, allocating certain days of the week that's gonna be your day for looking after the kids while trying to work. Do you switch it up during the day? In a weird way, I feel like my situation works kinda of well because I co-parent, so it's like two and a half days of the week I'll have her and it's just me all in in all this nuttiness, as you've been observing. <laughs> She's so cute, I love her so much. Um, and then the other two and a half days is where I have a little bit of quiet time so I can catch up on the kind of more like cerebral creative, focused work. And it's good because I feel like if you were just sort of parenting, sort of working all day, and this doesn't apply to people who are just at home all the time with their kid, like full-time single parents, salute, holy mackerel. But I almost feel like if you are tag teaming with your parent, you're a co another parent at home, if both are kind of in charge of the kids and kind of working at the same time the whole time, like that just feels like it's never gonna work. Cause I keep thinking of Virginia Woolf's The Room of One's Own. Like you need time by yourself, with yourself. A separate room ideally, but you know, who has those options, especially in New York City, to do your work and to be creative. And it's really hard to be focused and creative while sort of parenting in the background, at least I find. So it's like a different kind of work. I can do certain work with Ezzy here, you know? There's a lot of work I can do with Ezzy here. But if I really have to kind of like get into a piece, if I would have to want to like write a piece or like really, put my brain into editing a piece or coming up with some sort of concept or some sort of creative work, then I, it's just really hard. It's really, really hard. And I recognize people out there aren't working 
maybe they are stay at home parents, but they've always had the option of bringing the kids other places. And I think it's hard for everybody. And I want to recognize that. Like, I don't think it's just hard for these working parents. I think there are plenty of parents. Everybody's going through change through this, right? So anyway, and then when I reach a stopping point, I'm going to bring Nancy back to her dad's. Luckily, we're very flexible on that, especially during this like weird no man's land of who has her during the working day on days we switch off. Because normally one of us would drop her off in the morning and then pick her up. The other one would pick her up from the nanny or school. Because those aren't options aren't here, in theory, like we can split the day in half. But if one of us is able to just work through, I mean, her dad also has a partner he lives with. So, you know, making it work, right? Yeah, just curious to know how you all are doing it. I'd love to hear from you. Sometimes I feel like I'm just talking into a screen here. And so it's nice when you guys respond and comment. It's such makes such a difference because I love to hear from everybody. Anyway, I hope you're well. I'll talk to you a little bit. Okay, bye. Aww. Okay, so we took a little break and we're doing shadow play. Here we go. Da, da, da. Who about you? Okay. This is about as crafty as I get. I just felt a pang of mom guilt. Okay, I'm gonna go on um, parent for a hot second. All right, I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Ciao.